TikTok gym goer claps back at man. Another day, another woman who continues to push men further and further away from society. So women are pushing men out of society. Men are retreating into their homes. Women are countlessly saying now, why? Why are there no men approaching us anymore? Why are there no men talking to us? Why are there no men trying to date us? What's going on? I do not understand. You know, they're playing absolutely naive and they know exactly what's going on. They know why men are no longer approaching them. They know why men are no longer talking to them. They comprehend these things. They're completely responsible for it. And they will never take any accountability. They will always try to use plausible deniability. And, you know, the, you have a lot of women who have been bothering men at the gym, calling guys gym creeps as men are just working out, wearing scantily clad outfits, and trying to get in, and get into the view of men. A lot of men are just building home gyms and trying to avoid the gym entirely. But this phenomenon won't stop. And a lot of the women who are doing this as well are on Only Fools and Lonely Fans trying to get their followers up. Let's just go ahead and jump into this video because it's just another illustration of this. Are there going to be some bad actors? Yes. But it's like, you know, I don't really believe any of these stories anymore. A poll found that more than 56% of women say they have been harassed while working out. Most often it's creepy guys hitting on them. But there's a new battle of the sexes going on at the gym over influencers filming their workouts. Allison Hall has our report. This woman is recording her workout when a total stranger asks her to stop. She's I don't know why I have to make these little videos. It's kind of distracting from the workout. Oh, more. you think? Yeah, you get more out this of it. Is funny. Oh, you think I'd get more out of it? She had a choice gesture as he walked away. And here she is, 25-year-old Maddie Webb. I was annoyed. <laughs> I was just irritated. She's a podcaster who posts lifestyle videos. He came up to me to belittle me, and I refused to allow that to happen. I was not rude. You can see in the video, I had a huge smile on my face. I was very polite. All across social media, gym goers post videos of their workouts. Now some gyms across the nation are cracking down on using phones to record workouts. At the Los Angeles Athletic Club, they are actually turning this empty space into an authorized place for social media creators to work out while their cameras are rolling. We're exploring building out a first floor that's going to be social media friendly. Sounds like the perfect place for Maddie. Oh, you think? I mean, guys, this is the reality now. So a man does not want to be recorded while he's at the gym working out, you know, and... What and he's immediately labeled the gym creep. Like this is it's a complete breakdown of society where men are being pushed out of society. Gyms that have policies in place that say we don't want you filming in here or you will be banned. Women turn around and call that misogyny. A lot of women now are also going to women only gyms and they're bringing and here's the thing. Here's the funniest thing about it. So when they go to women only gyms, a lot of them are getting kicked out. Why are they getting kicked out? Because the women-only gyms have more rules than the, than the unisex gyms because men will tolerate just about anything. You know, anytime you hear like, oh, something happened, like, oh, there was a booby on TV and the, uh, the, F the FTC got like a million phone calls. Those were all from women. Anytime there's like a, you know, any out, like, like outrage, that's always from women. Because men are just basically trying to live and survive. So women are going to these female-only gyms. They're wearing inappropriate outfits to these female-only gyms. And the women at the gym are, are getting very, very furious. Like, bro, what are you doing here? Why are you wearing this outfit at the gym? Like, we're uncomfortable with you doing this. And staffers are basically saying, like, you can't wear this here. And they're getting kicked out. And then they're going right back to the male-only gyms not male only gyms like unisex gyms and 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 uh, hollering and screaming this is this is the this is the reality that we are now seeing okay they can't be in their own spaces because when we when you leave them to their to themselves and you're it's it's only women by themselves basically they end up getting kicked out of their own spaces because the women won't tolerate what they're doing over there 
then they go right and then they go right back to tormenting the men until the men just either start to just you know stand stand up to them or or they uh or they just leave the spaces entirely and abandon the space it's like i told you women in western society they don't like men they do not like us they do not want us here they don't want us here at all it's the absolute it's the reality that we not i was looking at dating rights uh, memes and this was a really interesting one so check this out like check out this meme guys it, it's a meme that says consider if your man is post-apocalyptic warlord material you know it's 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 hilarious ladies it's time to consider if your man is post-apocalyptic warlord material like this is real stuff right here this is real stuff because this is the world that we're heading into right now. We are heading into some serious issues in the world. We're heading into a, we're heading into social collapse, where society won't necessarily collapse, but groups of people in society will collapse, and they're going to tear down society as they go down. Okay, you can see that happening with Gen Z, and women are more than happy to share men. Like you know, look at what Dating Right put. They want to be the 47th wife to the man leading the war campaign. Women are perfectly happy sharing a man if it means security and provision. You have to remember that for women, chaos is key. They love chaos. Women love chaos. They spend most of their lives in chaos. So they can they will never pass up a good crisis because during a crisis they can pick from the winners and the losers. Do not forget that before, before the 1950s, late 1940s, early 1950s, the average man did not even marry. It was in the baby boomer generation where this whole notion of, uh, you know, every man can have a wife and all this other nonsense, and in exchange, you know, the man will dedicate him to his self to society. And he will fight for his for love of country and all of that BS. All right. It did not even solidify until the 1950s. What do men have today? Men have no authority and all the responsibility. Men have women have special privileges while men have special punishments. So it's no wonder. It's no wonder we are headed for a massive social collapse. It's no wonder. You know, this is, you know, it, it, hey, it lasted, it, it, it lasted, it, it, we had a good run. We had a good run. And so many of these women are on Only Fools and Lonely Fans. And they all have that same face on them, like the same, like, it's like a stupid look like, oh, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Because the guy knows that they're in there. They're in there fil filming their illicit content so they can get more views and drive more simps to their lone, only, fat, only fools and lonely fans. And I'm telling you guys right now something very interesting. That platform is constantly, constantly being investigated. And, and creators on that platform are constantly being investigated for some really bad stuff. CP. If you don't know what I'm and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's those are the abbreviations. CP. They're constantly being investigated. They're going to shut that platform down. They're going to shut that that platform down. They're going to shut down only fool. Um, they're going to shut down. You know, the, the similar. They're going to shut down only fools. They're going to shut down similar platforms. They're going to shut these platforms down, and a lot of people are going to go to jail. The people who created the platform, and the people who who are making their money on that platform. Heed my warning. They are working. The the government is working right now to shut that platform down. And all of these women that are on this platform calling themselves content creators, when they lose access to that platform and they can't use it anymore to make money, where are they going to go? They are going to go straight to the streets. You're going to see some crazy bills passing in the future, I think. It's, it's, it's very possible and very feasible. And what will end up happening is platforms like Instagram, 
you know, platforms like Instagram and even YouTube, a lot of these platforms, you know, if they have any, any content, women in these scantily clad bikinis, provocative post poses, all of this stuff, you're, it's going to, there, it's going to have to go under a filter and it's going to be restricted. You know, and people are like, oh, freedom of speech. No, it's soft cork stuff. All right. So for right off the bat, it's going to like, you know, if you're under 18 and that's where they get you, you're going to have all of these Gen Z, Gen Z idiots and Gen Alphas like claiming that their rights are being infringed on. Like, little buddy, you don't you do not have the right to social media. You do not have the you do not have the right to put up thirst traps on social media. OK. You could barely read and write. And you're on Instagram trying to trying to like direct people, you know, trying to build up an audience so that by the time you're 18, you can immediately move them all over to your only fools and lonely fans. You're not one to talk. All right. You're not one to talk. Guys, don't forget that if you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more, more angry guy content, head over to the men walking away channel. I release daily videos on the men walking away channel. It's linked in the description of the video. Guys, these TikTok gym goers are really thinking that they're going to clap back at men for telling them that they're not going to put up with the degeneracy that they're engaging in within the gyms. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.